All right, Jesse on Fire, welcome back to the channel. So TJ Dillashaw is retired, you guys. He's retiring for good. He's never going to fight again, right? Or maybe not necessarily. Let's just think about some things really quick. Let's just think, I'm going to connect a few dots for you guys in this video and just... Uh, you guys can decide if uh, if you think it's more likely that my theory is going on or that he's just straight up retiring, and we'll go from there. Now, uh, connecting dots is kind of what I like to try to do on this channel. I don't always know everything, you know what I mean? I don't know everything. Now, I did a video yesterday on James Krause, and I just want to make this perfectly clear if I was even moderately ambiguous on that video. I hope that Kraus is cleared of all charges, that he's reinstated in the UFC, that he gets to continue on, assuming that he didn't do anything completely outlandish. Like, I'm not rooting for anyone to have any negative outcomes with anything ever, you know, unless they really deserve it. I haven't heard anything about him that makes me feel like he's going to deserve what, uh, you know, what a bad outcome would be. So just to be clear, I am not rooting for anything bad to happen. I hope everything I heard is wrong. I really do. I honest to God, I hope everything is wrong. People were yelling at me in the comments. They're like, you don't know what you're talking. I'm like, dude, okay. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I hope all the rumors are not true, dude. I really do. Uh, but I did, anyway, it's not even there. I just wanted to say that because that video is getting a lot of attention and like, uh, I don't want anyone to think that like I want bad for anybody, dude. But uh, anyway, if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. That's the jar at the front of the thing. If you guys watch my content, you know, it's like the honor system. You just have to subscribe. Otherwise, you're stealing it. I mean, not really, but it is the honor system. Don't steal. Uh, anyway, so, oh, I'm going to do a couple videos on Jesse on Everything today that are going to be fire. Uh, if you don't know Jesse on Everything, that's my other channel where I talk about everything that's not MMA. Uh, channel's blowing up right now also, so uh, go give that a run. The link's in the description. I got to talk about a couple things uh, related to Elon Musk and some other stuff. Anyway, all right, so TJ Dillashaw has announced his retirement out of nowhere, right? Out of nowhere. No fanfare. Like, Nothing. Just kind of like, hey guys, just tweet it out. I'm retired. I'm like, he's retired. It's like, yeah, he's retired. He's retired. And you're like, well, how did he do it? They're like, well, I guess he uh, just let the, you know, had the manager let the UFC know. I'm like, it's TJ Dillashaw. Yeah. Multi time world champion. Yeah. TJ Dillashaw just shot an email in, like, hey, I'm retired. Yeah. Does that make sense to anybody who understands human behavior? I mean, sure, he's done, man. Are you, are you serious? Have you ever seen a star athlete retire before? Like, I mean, seriously, have you ever seen a star athlete retire before? Like, really retire? Sure, how'd you find out? Press conference, right, exactly. When does someone as big as TJ Dillashaw just, just retire in a... Hey, guys, and, and he doesn't even put out a statement. He doesn't put out, like, a long, drawn-out statement. And, I mean, I, you know what? As a matter of fact, let me just double-check that he didn't because th that would basically confirm my idea of, of what this actually is. Okay, TJ Dillashaw, you know, like, okay, boom. If he doesn't have a huge, uh, hey, guys, this is me retiring. Nope, he doesn't. Okay, so confirmed. He didn't do a big a big thing. So why else would he say he's retiring if he's not actually retiring? Gosh, I don't know. Can you guys think of any rules that we've discussed lately in length about USADA? You know, anything about USADA? And then maybe like a super relevant use case that we just got done talking about like every day for the last month about Conor McGregor and why someone would be out of the USADA testing pool, right? So why did, what happened with TJ in the last fight? Gosh, let me, I, so we got, Dillashaw retires. Okay, here are our bullet points. You got Dillashaw retires. We've got every single attention hungry superstar athlete in the history of sports does some kind of thing for when they retire. Okay. At the very least, they put out a, a, a like a goodbye note on Twitter if they're not going to do a press conference. Okay, he did none of those. We got Connor who is out of the USADA testing pool and basically admits that he did performance enhancers in order to help his healing. And you got Dillashaw, who just lost a fight because his shoulder kept popping out of the socket. It's clearly severely compromised. And so maybe there are things that he could take that would help him heal and he'd be able to come back and fight. And then we also have the thing where the only way you get out of the USADA testing pool is if you retire, right? So... 
Yeah, I don't think he's in a position to ask for an exemption. Do you guys? Correct. So if you were going to ask me, why would he retire in such a bizarre way? I would say he probably wants to go and take things to help his shoulder heal and then come back, test, and then fight again. He's only 36. He didn't like, it's, I mean, right? Right? It's not impossible. You know, he's out for two years. He has a great fight against, against Sandhagen. He gets injured. He has to take a long time. He comes back and he's got an injury in that fight too. It's like, you know, maybe he just was like, forget it. I'm done. Just forget it. I'm out of here. But the lack of, the lack of fanfare, the lack of like making it an event, the lack of even putting out a tweet is super sus to me, dude. Now I support him doing this. As I've said about every single thing about Connor, if a person is injured and taking performance enhancers is going to help them heal, I'm with it, dude. Of course I'm with it. You know, I was really excited for that fight. I was rooting for TJ. But bottom line is this. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't think he's really retiring. I think he's strategically retiring so he can heal his shoulder and then he's going to come back. That is what I would guess. But who knows? What do I know? I'm not as I'm not as smarty, you know. But given the proximity to Connor and all that, you saw the stuff, and then putting the gear, getting the gears working. He's obviously a person who is not afraid to put things in his body to help him heal or help him do anything. So, like, you know, he's probably working the system. That is all I've got for this, though. That's it, dude. In and out. I love you guys, and that is what I have. Peace.